Don't go slow on it. <gasps> Shit. I had such huge plans for this. Dropping. Right, we've got the little uh, Scott RC World Cup cross country bike, 100 mil travel. I've put 120 on the front, changed a few of my bits, and we're up here in the woods, gonna give it a rally. Um, I literally, it's pretty stock. I do, I am gonna have to put that seat down because I just tried to ride a tiny bit then, and I was literally all over the place. So, seat's going down, and then pretty much, it's a Nino shooter sized World Cup cross country bike. We're gonna go as fast as we can on. Full cross country spec. I'm quite excited actually. Get us some sick drifts in them. It's like the Pyrion dog slice section, but on a hundred mil travel. Shit. <laughs> oh, I had such huge plans for this. Obviously, where we're riding is quite rocky, like there are quite big rocks in these trails, and I think the full single wall cross country tyre might have not been the best call for the, uh, for the XC bike thrashing. But luckily, we have a backup. We have my, my genius. We are ready to go. But it's a 27 on the back, so I think it'll be fine. Should be. Just got to quickly swap the wheels over, swap the disc, and then I think we're ready to go. Back shredding. Actually, because in lockdown I've just been riding my 100 mil travel like cross country bike for lots of miles, I've only just started like riding proper trails and stuff. I've been doing digging. Actually, no, I've been riding over my house quite a bit. Doesn't involve that much mechanics. Yeah, not having a World Cup mechanic on hand at all times. It's starting to take its toll. Mullet it. Yes. Actually looks better as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, we're back. We have the mullet now, different rear tyre. The cross country, full cross country tire didn't last that long. I blame the big rocks in here, but bike sick. Try again, take two. And about your front wheel seats. This <laughs> is so embarrassing. <laughs> That's gone down now. Right, we're back after that little mishap. Um, <clears throat> Turns out, I kind of had a feeling that the cross-country race spec single ply tyres might not have held up, but got normal tyres on from the Genius, and we're going to start again. Back up top, same trail. Hundred mil travel bike, it thing flies so cool. I mean, probably a bit naughty me putting a 27 at the back, but it's just what I'm used to. This bike's actually so sick. It rallies, dude. I actually have my suspension locked, well, half locked out, trail mode. And I didn't even notice, I just flew down. Oh. 
No wonder Nino is like 10 times Olympic world champion. This thing is so sick and capable. I like sometimes forget I'm not on my ransom. Ripping it down there. But it does actually, every now and again, it like reminds you that it's 100 mil. Like it bucks you a tiny little bit, but you get straight back on it. Actually brings the spark back into my riding, back into this trail. Yeah, so this is the 2020 Scott Spark RC. Um, I've obviously changed a few bits, some sponsorship bits. I put a Fox Fork, 120mm fork in the front, 34. Um, changed my bars, changed my wheels, flat pedals on, different brakes, but um, ultimately it's the same. 100mm travel, this is 100, 120, but normally you come 100, 100. But I mean, it's exactly the same frame as, uh, as Nino would be racing Olympics on. Um, it's just such a capable little machine. And it's like actually made these little tracks that I ride every day. I actually ride all these tracks pretty much every day on my Genius, which is 150, or my Ransom, which is 170. Sometimes I'll just be like following Ollie down or following people down and just sort of like getting in the flow. But this just brings it, uh, makes it so exciting again. And you don't need an e-bike to get back up the hill. This thing's so light. Twin lock on, full lock. You can just sprint up stuff. It's, it's, it's rad, I'm stoked on it. Fully locked out, look at it go. Wow, no wonder Nino wins all the races on this. You do not need an e-bike with lockout, 100 mil. Right, you've got like trail mode and full lockout. I think it's just too dusty for full lockout. So I'm gonna, all my climbs are in trail. Then you've got a little bit of grip. It stays like, back tire like tracks the ground a little bit better. And then full lockout is when we go to the pub later. And then I can get there first. Right, click in trail mode. That's almost locked the suspension out. You do not need an e-bike with this bike. So good. I feel the fun. Right, let's rally this track. So dusty and actually pretty rough. I mean, this track on the Ransom not, doesn't get boring, but it's like quite mellow actually. You ride it on this and it just brings it back to life, makes the turns a bit sketchy. You can just feel that it's got 100 mil, but it's like 100 mil of fun. You know, it's like, it makes it so fun again. I'm so stoked on this thing. Whoa! And this thing is so light, it is actually crazy. I think that's like part of the, part of the reason why I'm like scatting around a little bit. It's probably not even because it's got less travel. It might just because it's crazy light. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Could carry on all day. Oh, I've got arm pump now. But um, I honestly, I keep saying it, but this thing is so capable. It's just like, a little baby ransom, it just sucks it up and then gives you a little spike of adrenaline every now and again, like, make, like lets you know that you're on a 100 mil cross country bike. But, uh, well, I'm, I'm so stoked with that. I was so happy to have one of these in my, uh, in my garage just to take out, especially with, with lockdown, like, and I've just been riding a spark the whole time, just doing crazy long rides, um, getting out there, not really taking this to, to its potential, but now, Lockdown's a little bit over. We can open stuff up. We can start riding on normal trails. And this thing is so fun. I'm not sure what it's gonna be like following, uh, following the boys down at full, full pace, but I'm sure it'll keep up just fine. Stoked. Right now this is definitely a long travel trail bike jump. There's such a sniper route on the landing. You whip into a right hander, then into a left, then over another hip. But <laughs> I'm pretty confident the spark can take it, so I'm gonna give it a roll. Hit this berm, air, pocket air into the right. Whoa! 
<laughs> Last minute, I just bottled it. I think it'll be fine though. Look how sick and dusty that turn is. Oh my god. Sorry, Spark. Sorry, Spark. <laughs> oh my god. Rest in peace, World Cup cross country bike. <laughs> Fine though. Dealt with it perfectly. Yo! Wow, that was so sick. I got right up in the top by that tree. Got it perfect. That jump you just have to like commit 100% for because you have to make it over this horrible route. But the Spark IC RC killed it. I'll tell Nina that you can jump huge, horrible hips now if he wants. <laughs> Wicked. That was so fun. Ripping a little 100 mil race cross country bike. Big thanks to Scott for letting me use it, rally it. Probably the first time they're gonna see what just went on with it, it was in this video, but so happy with that, stoked. Rips uphill, rips along so light, so capable, love it. So happy to have this as part of my little fleet. Peace out, see you next time.